but it doesn't matter when you going into our closet people often ask where my closet is so bed closet that's where it is but we need to declutter and organize this bad we use this for a lot of different things but since being down here for a winter we also know bobby has a ton of clothes he doesn't wear and i have an idea for tearing all this out and redoing this closet but that's all going to be easier if we declutter first um because yeah right now it's just kind of crazy but you can see like we keep a lot more than just clothes in here so gotta go through everything and bring it all out you could just listen to what i have to say a minute of your time that's all i want then i'm out of your way maybe i'm selfish for wanting what i want it's all games till someone gets their heart broken my love i can only sleep with the tv on ever since you left i'm going through the motions i'm laying here looking at the door please come so one thing i have to say about this project is it has taken so much longer than I anticipated. Now, it's for multiple reasons. One being that it's just a lot more, turned into a lot more custom building than we anticipated. Um, and two, I have been absolutely useless most days. <laughs> uh, I haven't had like extreme morning sickness, but like just that overall feeling of ick um, I've been dealing with and pure exhaustion so I would do like 30 minutes here 30 minutes there and then stop um, so definitely pace yourself for something like this closets in general are a lot more work than anyone would anticipate I think a lot of it is you don't realize how much you can fit into a closet till you take it all out so we started day one purely just decluttering. Um, we knew since we've been in Florida, a lot of the clothes that we haven't worn this winter, and my mom's saying this has been the coldest winter in a long time. So it's like, if we didn't wear it this winter, we're probably not going to wear it. Um, and even when our bodies fully adjust to Florida winters, it probably the clothes won't be in style anymore so our big big thing was decluttering on this day and then I wasn't <laughs> planning on fully making over this closet but once I had the stuff out I just started tearing these side pieces out I told Bobby I hated these here because I felt like I was walking into a wall every time we came in and out of the closet and I knew it would feel so much bigger if we took it down so it definitely cannonballed into a much, much bigger project than originally anticipated. My original plan was literally just to declutter and organize out what we had. The other thing we noticed as we were taking this closet apart is it was old enough that they built like all these custom-ish shelves with nails and oh my goodness it is so much harder to tear stuff apart when you have these giant nails in them but we were able to do them and we were able to maintain as much of the stuff as possible but you can see we have a crazy amount of stuff in here um, and a lot of the stuff we actually need to keep in our closet so when planning out this closet there was a lot to keep in mind when doing it because it's not just clothing like as you can see my husband has a bow up there um, and a bunch of other stuff ex-military I don't think I need to say much more we we hold a lot of things in our closet
All right, this already feels so much bigger not walking into these boards on this side. So much better. Also, some of the stuff in here will be reallocating to different areas. So that's going to help. And obviously, we're decluttering a ton. Um, what I'd like to do is put a shelf up there, but above the trim. That way, it's not like impeding on walking in and whatnot. That way, things like the bow, random hunting, shooting, things can go over here. And then this whole side is more just clothing type organization stuff. So I have a plan. We'll just see how far we get. All right. So Cambria is gone at the coffee shop. So I am working on completely taking everything out of the closet, which you've already um, downsized. Um, and then I'm going to start taking the closet apart so we can start putting together the new setup, which right here is part of the new setup. Um, got some ideas we want to try out. Uh, we're going to try to reuse as much of the wood as possible because um, it's old wood, which if it is not all held together by nails, which I'm afraid it is, uh, it'll be a little bit, it'll be nicer wood to work with, I'm hoping. We'll find out if it all stays together. So like Bobby was saying, I had quickly run to my mom's coffee shop, um, which I've talked about before. She owns Sweet Marley's in Daytona Beach um, because I was teaching her how to do reels for her Instagram. She is pretty good with the social media stuff, but I was just letting her know, like, if you did reels, you'd get more interaction in videos. And I don't know about you guys, but like when I'm visiting somewhere on vacation or something, um, I often have like on my TikTok or my Instagram videos pop up showing me the different places. So I wanted her to get into the reels. All right, so now that everything's cleared out, it's all echoey in here. Now the plan is to take this board way up here. Or we're gonna move it to this side, but we're gonna raise all of our mounts up to the top of the door frame. So this way we'll have storage on this side, but not, not as prevalent of a shelving unit. This shelf is going to go where this one is. So we're basically just taking this, moving it up, taking this, moving it that way. And we're going to try to save this piece right here in the middle because we'd like to redo it. And we're going to raise it up so it'll be more uh, floor to ceiling. Um, but the dressers that we got from Ikea are going to go in its spot. So it's basically going to be on top of the dressers to give us the shelving. Um, so now I got to take these out, take all these mounts out and move them to the right spot. Yay. Something's Life in the country, I can say yes to that. Whatever way you want me, I'll learn it all and I'll adapt. Even if I changed up everything except my name, we will still be fighting. Cause I am still the same. I wanna be the beast. So by the time Bobby had everything torn out, I was back from mom's place and we started tearing stuff apart like he was saying we were trying to be as careful as possible because we want to reuse a lot of this stuff but here you can see the closet's like it's not a massive walk-in closet but it's not bad especially considering like 
any other walk-in closet I have ever had has been much smaller than this. So I definitely knew we had a lot of really good space to work with. This part, though, probably took the longest amount of time. The prep work of filling holes, priming the walls, like doing all of this was so time consuming. And I think why this project ended up taking so much longer is, like I said, you guys get to see it all edited and smoothly put together, but there was so many times that I just had to go lay down or take a nap or just whatever. Um, a lot of days that I wasn't feeling good enough to do anything till much later in the day, I have been like really good at being exhausted almost all day and then come like eight o'clock nine o'clock at night I have all this energy and I feel great which is so frustrating because then I'm not falling asleep like it's insomnia till one two o'clock in the morning and the next day I feel like garbage again and I'm like well if my body would let me fall asleep maybe I wouldn't feel like garbage during the day but luckily I know this is all just first trimester stuff, but this pregnancy has definitely hit me a lot harder this first trimester than any of the other three. So I'm trying to still get done what I need to get done, but I'm being smart about it also and not pushing myself too hard. So it's the next day. As you can see, Bobby put the braces up last night. All the way around. Um, there is this shelf that's gonna go all the way across this side. And then I started putting together the dressers. Um, I still have a bunch of drawers put together, but we just wanted to see how they fit in place. But now I have to paint all these walls because between just the discoloration and then there's just stuff everywhere so i'm just gonna do basic white i might end up doing some accenting colors in here but to start we're just gonna go white for now So originally it was my plan just to paint everything white, um, but you're going to see here in a bit, Bobby put the new lights in, in the closet. He wanted to do um, more lighting in the closet as well as a AC vent. That way there is more airflow in our closet because there was no ventilation and being down here in Florida with the humidity and everything, having that proper air circulation can be really, really good. So we, so the thought was white would be good until he put the lights in and it looked crazy bright, like very sterile white. Um, and I was watching a bunch of different videos. Actually, one of the ones that I saw and gave me so much motivation to get this done was the DIY wife. If you guys have never watched her, I really enjoy her stuff. She is so talented and like gives me all the motivation of, okay, if she can do this, I can do this. Let's go. Um, she has great ideas and just very, very talented woman. So go check her out. But I saw her master closet video and that really gave me a bunch of really cool ideas. In the end, though, I ended up adding color to the walls, which you will see later on um, what I added. I didn't want to do anything as dark or moody as a lot of people do, but I knew I wanted something just a little different than what was here.
Now, another thing we were dealing with is before we bought this house, it was very obvious that the previous owner just hired someone to come in and paint pretty much everything white, um, which makes sense it, to get rid of any harsh colors. A clean, fresh cone of paint is awesome. However, the issue is I don't think they actually knew what they were doing um, because Throughout the entire house, a lot of the woodwork and doors and things like that we have had to um, fix because the paint is like peeling completely off. So since I knew I wanted to use this wood and I was having that same peeling issue, I needed to get as much of the old paint off as possible. So I tried sanding it down and then Bobby recommended using his hand planer, which made my life a bazillion times easier this was so much faster i just went over this for a little bit and then went over with the sander real quick and it made my life a million times easier because i was working on one board for literally about an hour and then he came outside and he's like why don't you just use this Here, I'm just quickly showing the new lights that Bobby put in and then also the vent. Um, this took Bobby a couple days to get done, but I am very grateful that he was able to do that. And then these are the Ikea dressers I got. These, I think, are probably the nicest thing. It adds so much storage, plus it's just... A lot simpler, I'm sure. Bobby and I could figure out how to build drawers and do the built-ins and stuff. But realistically, the price of these dressers compared to lumber and materials probably would have run us about the same. And this saved us easily a good three or four days worth of work. again don't give up we're holding on for what it's worth i'll try to change we can't fix our broken hearts loving me is not so goddamn easy as i think you try your best to hold up but i see you giving in you know that we shouldn't keep it as you can see it's not the prettiest thing putting everything back together especially since like it's been sanded and planed and everything but it did feel really good to start seeing things come together here. So originally we were planning on doing more hanging on this side of the closet. However, I don't need a lot of hanging storage. I don't have a crazy amount of clothes and shoes and I'm just not that type of person. So Bobby ended up building me like a little vanity area. So I'm excited to um, decorate that out. But I'm just going in and putting the trim on everything. You will notice in some areas that it goes from not having trim to having trim. That is because Bobby also did some work at night while I was asleep or just laying in bed and we weren't filming. Like I said, we did a lot of this filming at night. Um, but we knew we wanted this to be a stained wood countertop type look. The other thing I will say is a lot of these like nail holes and cracks and stuff. I didn't show me putting the wood filler in or caulking, but those are all things that are really, really important. I actually end up doing two coats of the stain. So I did one thing of stain and then went in because I've learned that the filler can act funny on the stain sometimes. So I did the stain and then put the wood filler in and then did my second coat of stain. I don't know why that works better, but for me it does. Um, I'm definitely not a professional, so if you're going to tell me I'm doing it wrong, you are probably right. It just works a little easier for me, so that's the way I did it. But, yeah, you're going to notice, like, the cracks between the plywood and the little edge pieces. 
there's a crack when I start staining it. But like I said, I go in and fill that with wood filler after the first coat of stain. Not used to this, no I'm not. I better let myself give in to love. Believe in us, no matter what it does to my heart. Not used to this, no I'm not. It was like if we were to waste these moments. The light poets to me. So I will say I was finding some of the comments in my last couple videos amusing. I got a comment. Was it the last video or the one before? Someone asking me to show my get ready with me, which I find amusing because obviously like I am not someone to like do my hair and makeup every day. Um, I used to when I first started YouTube because I thought like that's what you had to do when you compared yourself to the Brianna Kays and Love Megs and Micah Stoffers and Tiffany Beeston's like they all looked on point every single video. And I quickly learned that I, I just couldn't keep up with that, nor did I want to keep up with that. Like it's just not who I am. Um, I'm a busy mom of three, currently pregnant with baby number four, and unless I am going out, I see no reason to make sure my hair and makeup is done every single day. Um, and I think that is why a lot of you guys do watch me. Some of you may watch me for other reasons, but I know a lot of you like the relatability of you don't have to, like, if you want to, some people love that stuff. And I totally get that. When I was younger, I loved hair and makeup and all the things. Um, and now I would rather spend time doing other things when I get time to myself rather than worrying about my hair and makeup when I'm just sitting at home. Um, so I don't know. I was just finding it funny because I know you get the people that if you are overly put together will be like, oh, trying too hard. And then when you're me, just being myself, like my hair is up most days. I definitely don't wear makeup most days. And I'm in leggings and a t-shirt or whatever is comfy and no shoes. I am barefoot 90% of the time. Then I'm going to get comments like that. But I just want you guys to know, like it used to get to me. It does it now. And if you are getting comments like that, don't let it get to you. Let it roll off your shoulders because... In the end, it does not matter. I have to say I love my decade of being 30 because in my 20s, I cared. And now that I'm in my 30s, I like just don't care. <laughs> I really don't. Um, unless you are like someone really close to me that I like really, really care about. I don't care what people think anymore. And it is the most freeing feeling in the world. So if you are in your 20s and you are afraid of your 30s, I'm going to tell you right now. 30s has been amazing for figuring out who I am as a person and it has to be one of the best decades. All right, sorry about the rant. I, you guys know I don't normally do that, but I just like, when I feel a need to say something, I will, um, <laughs> but I'm done with my rant. I am right here just using the Kills primer. I wanted to make sure I used a really good primer and really got in on all this raw wood, especially since there was some paint still left over from um, planing and sanding and everything. So I'm just using the Kills Primer. This stuff works really, really well. It's super sticky. It's like latexy. So when you wash it off your hands, like normal paint, you can usually easily wash off. This stuff does not wash off easy, but I knew it would do the trick and I did not want to deal with that same peeling problem that we were dealing with from the old paint. So I'm just going around and making sure all of that is done. 
And then I ended up deciding on using the um, bleaker beige, I believe, is what I picked. And this color, I think, is just, it's light, but still a rich color. And I ended up really liking it in here. I like the contrast of that, like, warm gray beige tone with the white dressers and the white trim. Um, so yes, that is what I ended up going with me going with here. I just get my paint from Lowe's because it's the closest hardware store. And I love these little foam rollers. If I am doing, unless I'm doing like a big wall, I love these. They work great for detailed. They get into the corners really, really well. So it seems kind of funny that I'm using this itty bitty little roller, but actually with all the wood and everything I was working around, it was so much faster than having a bigger roller out. I'm so tired of these late night talks, saying things that we don't mean, that we regret in the morning, yeah. I just wish we could open up, be a little more honest. This is getting exhausting, yeah. Can't do one more night of having to sleep on the sofa. I just want to figure it out now before it's over. Oh, the other reason I ended up going with a color is when I was looking for inspiration on closets and just some ideas, because you guys know me and I say this all the time. I'm the type of person that if something is beautiful, I am more likely to keep it clean and organized. So when I am redoing a space, like functionality is a big part of it, but also so is it being pretty. It's a big thing to me. And I was noticing on all the custom cabinets out there, the like true custom ones that weren't just Ikea built-ins, which not knocking Ikea, they all had like a beautiful color to them. So that is the other reason I ended up going with a color. So damn hard. Being there for each other, showing you my true colors. Yeah. I don't know why it's difficult. I'm trying to make amends, but it doesn't seem to help, no. Can't do one more night of having to sleep on the sofa. I just want to figure it out now before it's over. I don't want to pack my things and be ready to let you go, to let you go. Also, don't mind the wet hair and everything. I had quickly jumped in the shower and everything before heading over to my parents' house this day for our Sunday get together. Um, but I really wanted to get these pulls up, but I'm going to do a quick before here and then we're going to do some afters. This is going to end up being a two part video, which was not my original plan, but this is real life and real life renovating. And sometimes projects take just a little bit longer than expected. Can't do one more night of heaven to sleep. All right, so I'm going to show you guys what the closet looks like now. There still obviously is work that needs to be done. Obviously, reorganizing it. Still need to do some touch-up paint. Throw the hardware on the drawers. Finish making the drawers. But this has definitely been a project that has taken a lot longer than expected. So if you guys want to see part two, of finishing this but mainly getting it organized and everything make sure you like and subscribe and yeah I'll see you next time but I am super excited about how it's turning out so far I think the before and afters even at this point is massive <laughs>